Hey there, welcome back to my channel where we explore the extraordinary in the ordinary. Before we dive into today's video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more content like this. Let's get started. In today's video, we are going to discuss one CSS property, grid. This grid CSS property is a shortened property that sets all of the explicit and implicit grid properties in a single declaration. So you need to use display grid to use this CSS shortened property. And this property is a shortened property of grid auto columns, grid auto flow, grid auto rows, grid template areas, grid template columns, grid template rows. So using this property, you can specify one axis using grid template rows and grid template columns. You then can specify how content should auto repeat in the other axis using properties like grid auto rows, grid auto columns and grid auto flow. So let's see how this property works in a very simple way. So in this HTML, I'm trying to create one grid system, a very easy and simple grid system. So I'm using one container. So basically I already have this container class. So I'm adding another container, container new. And with this container, I have another class with div item. Okay, now I have total number of four div items. All right, let's go to CSS. To make sure you are using this grid, you need to use display grid. Okay, and item class should have some background color let me give something green yellow okay now let's give width 50 pixel and height also 50 pixels so now we have one square okay let's see how it looks so this is expected output right because we don't have any spacing anything with this so you need to remember one thing when you use this display grid this grid property you must have to use within container grid first of all let me give 50 or 60 pixel forward slash 60 pixel okay uh, to make sure that we are using it correct let's make it 80 pixel okay now you as you can see this is shortened property so grid template rows is a value as 60 pixel and grid template columns as 80 pixel okay so to make sure you are using correct values you can also use auto so now you have this two row number of rows will be two and number of columns will be two right and here the grid auto rows value will be auto grid auto columns value will be also auto because we have applied this auto as a third and second value okay so since you have number of four number of items right what you can do so let's see how actually this property is applying this value so at the pixel you see the space between two columns right and this is space between two rows okay so let me make it 60 pixel so it looks better okay so now we have four div and we have divided into two row and two columns we can also change this with repeat function using repeat what you can do something like this right so this value repeat will repeat this row two times you can make it three but we don't have third row that's why it is not showing anything else right so using this repeat function you can also make sure that you are using this grid property properly 
okay so there are multiple value multiple combinations possible with this grid css property since this property is a combination of the shortened properties these properties right you can use these properties as per your convenience or layout and there are multiple possibilities that you can use you can also use this value in percentage in pixel you are already using you can also using uh, you can also use uh, fraction value as well as a, a measure value you can also use auto flow as a uh, as a value of one of the pro uh, this given css property okay so in this video we just had a quick look how this grid css property works we can also have another example so what we can do instead of total four these four items let me copy all these four eight and let me copy so now we have total number of 10 items okay and to make sure you are using properly you so what you can do here in this container you can use grid here repeat repeat function to as uh, it will be repeated two into rows of 60 pixel 60 60 pixel and you can use auto flow and 80 pixel let's see how this looks so this is a very good example when you should use this grid css property right so now we have total 10 number of divs you see we have 50 by 50 50 height and 50 pixel width we have divided into two rows here so using this function repeat you have added the 60 pixel gap so let's change this to something else let's make it 70 80 so now the space between two rows is 80 pixel and you see the space between uh, let me hover it the space between two columns is also 70 pixels so let's make it 60 and 60 it looks good since we have this item value the width and height is 50 pixel once you use this as a 60 pixel you see the space is now fine you can make it 70 and 70 as well okay so to make sure that you are using properly you see now we have number of rows as three and to use three you should have total 12 call uh, total number of div as 12 let's make it four right let's make it five then it will be divided into two columns and five rows because we have total 10 number of items and when you use this 5 10 divided by 5 it will be two columns so whatever value you are using it will be divided by 10 and the value which you receive after the division will be the number of columns right so this was also a very good example how you can use this css grid property a shortened property and you can make your web page responsive and using a very few css properties you can make it a very uh, responsive and very attractive layout all right so this was the quick overview how you can use this css property thanks for watching if you enjoy this video don't forget to like share and subscribe for more content Stay tuned for my next video and hit the bell icon to get notified. Leave a comment down below to let me know what you would like to see next. See you in the next video. Bye.